Hello, I'm Barbara Eastwick and we'll be creating a digital scrapbooking layout from a quick page and we'll be using Scrapbook Factory. This is a nice user-friendly software. So we'll bring it up and then click on Design from Scratch. And then Scrapbooks and then they have quite a few options and we'll be choosing 12 by 12 and there's our page so then to get started we'll go to insert graphic from file and there's the photo I wish to use so I'll highlight it by clicking once and then OK and I'll do the same thing to get my quick page insert graphic from file and I'll search my hard drive and find my scrap wow kits and this beautiful quick page from Amy Teets called Americana perfect for the layout I'm doing and click OK now I want to stretch it to full page and that means all the way to the outer corner if you don't reach the outer corner you will end up with a white border when you save there, stretched, and we'll stretch our photo to fit the hole on the inside. There we go. We'll just move it a little bit. Now we'll add our journaling. Text tools, add your own text. And I'll type in Colonial Williamsburg. I don't mind it being aerial and everything else is fine but I think I'll change the color so I'll highlight it click the color tab and then just choose a color mm, I'm looking for that blue gray but that's too purple that's too aqua that's nice but a little bit darker I think there that'll be fine and there's our text and we'll just move it down now scrapbook factory has an auto stretch feature so just stretch your text and it will automatically resize inside the text box you don't have to change the font size it'll automatically stretch now to create a, another one to keep it the same color all I had to do was hit control D and then double click on it and just change the word and I still now have the same font and the same color and the auto feature, the auto text feature works in reverse to make that slightly smaller and resize the text, just resize the text box. And that's all I wanted to do for this. It's all set and ready to go. Quick pages are so fast. To save it for the internet, I would hit export as image and then it will save as a JPEG. Now, I'm going to change that 96 to 72 for online viewing, but I would have changed it to 300 if I wanted this layout printed. I'll save it in my Barbara's Layouts, title it, and then just click Save. And now it's all set for online viewing. I can upload it to my ScrapWow albums. Thank you.